Crews have begun setting up for the demolition of the Elizabeth Forward High School Auditorium. Yeah, a fire destroyed the auditorium earlier this week, forcing the district to go to remote learning. Ross Gadotti reports that the school is yet to decide when students will return. It's been five days since the devastating fire here at Elizabeth Ford High School. You take a look around me, you can see the parking lot filled with cranes and other equipment as crews begin the process of raising the burned out auditorium. This, as officials call this the first step to getting kids back in the classroom. From massive heavy lift cranes to cherry pickers, equipment started rolling into the parking lot of Elizabeth Forward High School to begin what must be done. Today, this morning, we just started the controlled demolition. Uh, so we're just uh, piece by piece taking the building down. Demo crews got an up-close look from the top of the burnt-out auditorium destroyed in a massive fire. State Senator Jim Brewster was on scene today. Brewster telling KDKA what he saw after a tour of the building. So the demolition isn't like just knocking a wall down. There's a little more precision to it. Brewster says one of the biggest issues is making sure the dust and dirt plus the soot from the auditorium is contained. Trying to accelerate the cleaning from instead of eight hours a day, trying to do something 24 hours a day for the next week. Uh, our ultimate goal is to get those kids back in the classroom. They've been through too much. But when that happens is still very much in the air. There's just so many factors at this time and I know everybody wants an answer. Interestingly enough, there was at least one ray of sunshine in what's been a smoke-darkened week for the Elizabeth Forward Marching Band, with, in some cases, members using borrowed instruments, the band headed south for a long-awaited trip. I told them to forget about what's happening here and enjoy Florida for a couple of days. The cause of this fire remains under investigation. As for a hard and fast date to when students can eventually get back to the classroom here, that is yet to be determined. At Elizabeth Ford High School, Roscadotti, KDKA News.